In tonight's Contact KY3 investigates, as if falling prices aren't enough, many homeowners now facing another big challenge. Contact KY3's Kara Stelly explains. Yeah, times are tough enough without having to foot the bill for someone else who didn't pay theirs. Yet a growing number of families are learning that's their only option to protect their homes. This is where the hail damage was that caused the leak in our sunroom. Like most homeowners, Norma Nichols had heard of a mechanics lien, but didn't really know what one was, or for that matter, that it could affect her until it was too late. It just kind of blindsided us. She hired a roofer to put on a new roof. Everything was great until... Someone showed up at our door about 9.30 at night, a uh, uh, bail spawn, serving a, a notice of a mechanics lien. Norma says the roofer never paid his supplier for the roofing supplies, a growing problem in trying times. But instead of going after the roofing company, the supplier filed a lien against the Nichols home, a common method subcontractors and suppliers use to get their money. The idea behind that is that is that their work has improved the value of the property and so uh, ultimately the responsibility that they, would, that they would attach to getting paid would be tied to the property itself. The Nichols tried to get the roofer to pay to no avail. So instead, they had to pay the supplier $1,500 out of their own pockets. That's on top of the $5,600 they had already paid for the new roof. We don't feel like we owe this. We've paid it once. Why, why aren't you going after the person that did this, the contractor? But strangely, the Nichols were actually lucky. Many homeowners go years without knowing about a lien until they try to sell, refinance, or borrow against their home and find out they can't until they pay off the lien. It ultimately holds responsible for payment the party who usually was not responsible for non-payment. And it's not just building suppliers who can file a lien. If you don't pay your general contractor, he can file a lien. If your general contractor doesn't pay a subcontractor, such as a roofer or a plumber, they can file a lien. Or as in the Nichols case, if that subcontractor doesn't pay the supplier, they can file a lien too. There are some steps you can take to protect yourself. Make sure you're working with someone of high reputation. Make sure you're working with someone who's a member of the local home builders association, who carries the proper insurance, who has references. Matt Morrow with the Home Builders Association also says make sure you get title insurance if you're buying a new home or a newly remodeled home. This protects you if a lien is filed after you move in. And perhaps the best tip Negotiate with the contractor an installment plan, which allows you to withhold final payment until you get lien waivers from everyone involved with the project. This prohibits them from filing a lien on your property. It's uh, certainly appropriate to make sure that, you, that you're able to go through and, and see all those lien waivers that are releases that all of the bills have been paid. A few small steps to protect your biggest investment. I kind of felt like I had been just kind of robbed. The reason we didn't name the roofer in this story is because after contacting him for a comment late yesterday, he called us back. He admitted that he didn't pay the bill because of financial problems and a slowing economy. He said he has, however, been saving up to pay the nickels back. And after our phone call, he agreed to get a cashier's check for the $1,500. He brought that check to the Nichols yesterday evening, so obviously they're very excited to have their money back. Well, now that's a happy ending. It certainly is. But it's, a, it's really a cautionary for all of us. Yep, do your homework. Yep. Thanks, Karen. Thanks.